Hey, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom for this week. Probably one thing we all agree on is that the world is full of a lot of noise, right? Terrible noise all over, wherever we go. We're hearing it. We turn on the television, people are screaming at each other. We go out, we see people yelling at each other all the time. And there's so much background noise. That's why it makes it so important for us to have places where we can escape into the silence, right? And sanctuaries. And that's what the church is, isn't it? The church is a place you can go and it's quiet and it's silent. And you can be in the presence of God. And it's like a, an oasis from the madness in the world. I gotta admit, one of my pet peeves is when I go into the church and it's not silent, when there's people talking all over as if they're in any kind of club or hall. I remember getting shushed all the time when I was a kid and when we went to the library, you know, because other people were trying to read in the library. And the librarians would always, you know, scold you if you talked. But in the church, you know, a place of beauty that you can escape to, to be alone with God, to pour out your heart, to go over your problems, to ask God for his help and his mercy, to ask him to bless the people you love. Uh, that's a place where you need silence and you need a place of reflection and prayer. And so, you know, let's all work at that. No, next time we walk into the church, let's just be caught up in the, the beauty and the presence of God. You know, we build the churches with such beauty because in our own imperfect way, we're trying to make them reflect the beauty of heaven to remind us that, you know, this crazy world with all its noise is not what we're really called to. We're called to a place of peace and, and deep joy, heaven. And so let's remember when we go to church to Get there a little early for Mass and spend some time in prayer. And don't rush out right afterwards. Spend a few minutes afterwards and give thanksgiving to God. And while you're there, just say what's essential. You no, know, don't get in conversations and chatter and so on with people. You know, and have that reverence you know, for the presence of God because that's the key to having peace of soul is that we acknowledge that God is present there in that building, in that house of God.